Hi folks, welcome to the fourth and final lesson on discrete random variables. Today we're looking at the discrete uniform distribution, and uniform is the key word there. Um, this is any distribution um, where all the probabilities are equal. Alternatively, we can say it's defined over a set of n distinct values, where the probability of each is 1 over n. So for example, if you had seven different outcomes, they would all have the probability 1 seventh. Uh, hopefully you can see that um, rolling a fair die is an example of this. There are six different outcomes, all different, and they all have equal probability of one-sixth. So let's have a look at this example. Which of these would be described as a discrete uniform distribution? So A, the first number picked on the national lottery draw. Well, you've got, I think, 49 different outcomes, and they're all equally likely. So yes, that would definitely be a discrete uniform distribution. Next we have a fair six-sided die, but for which some numbers appear more frequently than others. So the probability of a 2 is not the same as the probability of a 3, therefore not a discrete uniform distribution. Whereas this four-sided die is a fair die, and each number only appears once, so yes, that would be a discrete uniform distribution, because the probability of each value is equal to a quarter. Next we're going to consider... Um, a special case of the discrete uniform distribution and an ordinary fair die is an example of this case. This is when x is defined over integer values, consecutive values 1, 2, 3, up to n, maximum value, which in this case for a dice would be 6. And we have these two formulae which I'm going to just give you. If you want to know more about where these come from you can come and ask me. Um, this one, to find the expected value, n plus 1 over 2, think about this in terms of um, when you're, say, rolling a die, you know that you can get anything from 1 up to 6. Symmetry tells you that the middle number in that list is what's going to be your mean value. Okay, And the, the way you find the middle is, or when you think about finding a, the median, you do n plus 1 divided by 2 to find the middle term. So it makes sense that the middle number in the list, 1, 2, 3, so up to n, um, would be n plus 1 over 2. Um, the formula for the variance is n plus 1 times n minus 1 over 12. And because that's the difference of two squares, uh, we can also write that as n squared minus 1 over 12. So let's go ahead and use that, uh, those two formulae uh, in an example. Here we have a tetrahedral die. So four sides, equally likely because it's a fair die, um, and four different numbers. Therefore, it does fit this special case. Um, because they're consecutive numbers 1, 2, 3, 4. So using n equals 4, we can just use the formula for the expected value of y, n plus 1 over 2. So 4 plus 1 over 2 is 2.5. And for the variance of y, we can use the simpler form, n squared minus 1 over 12. So 4 squared minus 1 is 15, divided by 12 is 1.25. And it's as simple as that. So let's look at another example here. This is a discrete uniform distribution as well. Uh, 5, 8, 11, 14, and 17, all equally likely, evenly spread out. But it's not one of this special case. It doesn't go 1, 2, 3, 4. But we can relate these values, 5, 8, 11, 14, etc., to the values 1, 2, 3, 4 quite easily. So let's introduce a variable x, which does follow that pattern. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, with probabilities of 0.2 for each. For this variable, x, we can work out the expected value. Okay, so n is 5, so 5 plus 1 over 2 is 3. And we can work out the variance. Uh, n squared minus 1 over 12 is 25 minus 1 over 12, which is 2. The reason we do this is because we can quite simply link z and x by saying that the z values are simply equal to the x values times 3 add 2. It's like an arithmetic series formula. And we've seen in the previous lesson that we can work out um, the expected value and variance of a function of a function quite easily. So the expected value of z that we want is the expected value of 3x plus 2. So this is just 3 times the expected value of x plus 2. Uh, so 3 lots of 3 add 2, which is 11. And a fairly simple formula as well for the variance. The variance of z is equal to the variance of 3x plus 2. Remember the plus 2 doesn't affect the variance, it's just the 3 that does, and we square that 
put it in front. So we have 3 uh, squared times the variance of x. So simply 9 times 2, which is 18. Okay, now that's it. Now you can use this method in the exam. You could just do it the normal way, um, but 9 times out of 10 using these formulae is going to be quicker. And I'm just going to finish by showing you how we can visualize such probability distributions. Um, so if you look at this graph top right, this shows the probability distribution for x, the number on an ordinary unbiased die. And you can see um, that all the probabilities are 1 sixth, and the values 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 are evenly spread out. So the symmetry and the, and the layout of the whole distribution is there to see. And in general, um, we do use symmetry a lot in discrete random variables to simplify what we're trying to do. And if you can draw it in this way, or if you're given a visualization such as this, it really makes the symmetry very easy to see. And that makes our lives easier.